फाइन दिस शो टुडे क्योंकि आज जो गेस्ट आने वाले हैं वो मेरे खास दोस्त भी हैं मेरे फॉर्मर कॉलीग रह चुके हैं मैं उनके बहुत अजीज मानता हूं आनंद वासु अ वेरी वेरी रिनाउन क्रिकेट जर्नलिस्ट हु स्टार्टेड हिज करियर आई थिंक 20 ऑड इयर्स अगो विद ईएसपीएन क्रिकेट इनफो देन ही वाज विद हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स विजिट इन इंडिया स्पोर्ट्स इलस्ट्रेटेड इंडिया ही इज ही इज बीन अ फैंटास्टिक राइटर अ फैंटास्टिक रिपोर्टर I think more than these two, he's been very honest to his craft and very honest to the game which he so dearly loves. Anand Vasu, दोस्तों मेरे हिसाब से एक ऐसे writer हैं, एक ऐसे पत्रकार हैं, जो इनके दिल में आता है, जो इनके दिमाग में आता है, वो लिख देते हैं. He's not one to sit on the fence. Uh, at times, it's perhaps got him in a bit of, I won't say trouble, but you know, he's perhaps he's perhaps ruffled a few feathers. But this is why I respect him, and this is why many many people in this fraternity, or बहुत सारे Indian cricket fans, उनके writing से जो वाकिफ हैं. वो उन्हें रिस्पेक्ट करते हैं ही इज अ वॉल्ट ऑफ नॉलेज ऑफ वॉल्ट ऑफ लव फॉर क्रिकेट इज वेल सो आई एम वेरी वेरी ऑनर दैट ही इज टेकन आउट टाइम फ्रॉम स्केड्यूल टू कम हियर एंड जॉइन अस ऑन दिस शो दोस्तों आज हम बात करेंगे कल के मैच के बारे में जो इंडिया जीती सिर्फ सोलह रन से वॉर अ फ्राइट डेविड मिलर इन पर्टिकुलर गेव रोहित शर्मा एंड इज टीम ये इन दैट मैच अ वेरी वेरी हाई स्कोरिंग मैच टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सेवन टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी एट आई एम सॉरी वॉज द टारगेट फॉर साउथ अफ्रीका एंड दे गॉट टू टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी वन रन मेरे हिसाब से वो जो एक मेडन ओवर था साउथ अफ्रीका के पहले ओवर चेस के पहले ओवर में जो मेडन ओवर डाला दीपक चाह ने डेम्बा बबूमा को दैट वॉज इन दिन ओवर साउथ अफ्रीका प्रॉब्ली लॉस दैट गेम और वर्ल्ड इंडिया एक्चुअली वन दैट गेम तो हम आज आनंद वासु से जो हमारे साथ जुड़ेंगे अभी कुछ ही पल में विल टॉक अबाउट दैट मैच विल टॉक अबाउट द न्यूज कमिंग इन जस्ट लिटरली फाइव सिक्स मिनट्स बिफोर आई स्टार्ट दिस लाइफ News has come that apparently KL Rahul and Virat Kohli have been arrested and flown to Bombay. They will not play the final T20 against South Africa in Indore tomorrow. वो Mumbai गए हैं, जहाँ से of course Indian team कुछ ही दिनों में रवाना होगी Australia के लिए for the T20 World Cup. But as the theme of today's show is, Anand and I are going to spend time discussing, to my mind, the most important batsman, not just in this Indian lineup, but overall in world cricket. That is. the inform surya kumar yadav ranked number 2 in t20s very very uh, small margin between him and top ranked mohammad rizwan the pakistan opener i'm going to get anand's views on how he sees surya kumar yadav or sky as he is popularly known in the indian circle as well as of course on social media how anand views sky's rise to the indian team and then the rise and rise up to where he is right now number 2 he is the leading run getter in t20i format this year uh, having made his debut shayad 18 mahine pehle uh, surya kumar yadav ne apna pehla match khela shayad march 2021 mein if i'm not mistaken played his first match for india and since then he's just become dosto kal ke match mein the fastest in terms of balls faced to 1000 runs and he scaled the heights of number 2 in the t20i rankings so उसके बारे में हम बात करेंगे बाकी लोग के बारे में बात करेंगे आनंद जस्ट सेंट मी मैसेज जस्ट सी इफ ही इज गोइंग टू जॉइन राइट नाउ जस्ट गॉट अ मैसेज वन सेकंड आई गॉट अ मैसेज समथिंग्स गॉन रॉन्ग हैंग अराउंड वो नॉट वो नॉट गोइंग एनी वेयर Yes, the tech team is going to look into Anand's problems, and he'll get us on on the show. As I said, he's a man who knows cricket, cricket very, very well. I've had the fortune of covering, uh, I think, three three World Cups with him, as well as a couple IPL seasons, a lot of bilateral cricket, some domestic cricket. So I've been waiting for a long time to get Anand on the show. So I'm very, very glad that Raj he has some time for us, and I'm sure the viewers, the darshak, the cricket premi, our side are joining the show. उनको भी बहुत मजा आएगा आनंद की बातें सुन के वो बहुत एक क्या कहते हैं अस्ट्यूट क्रिकेट ऑब्जर्वर हैं क्रिकेट राइटर हैं क्रिकेट क्रॉनिकलर हैं और जो क्रिकेट उन्होंने देखा है दोस्तों अब इस लाइन में यू नो अच्छा मैं ये कहूँगा कि वो कोई बुजुर्ग वेटरन नहीं है आनंद मुझसे शायद एक दो साल ही बड़े हैं यंग इन इन द पीक ऑफ इज करियर बट जस्ट द फैक्ट दर ही स्टार्ट सो अर्ली इन दिस लाइन यू नो probably just in his late teens or maybe 20 if i'm not mistaken the vault of knowledge that he's that he's accrued that he's accumulated working with respected websites like crick info and then of course hindustan times wisdom wisdom the bible uh, we got a new uh, viewer here hanumantam pa hosur from karnataka i guess please if you guys are on the stream please give a hi give a hello we're here to talk about surya kumar yadav 
आई पुट अ वीडियो आउट दिस मॉर्निंग ऑन माई ऑन ऑन माई क्रिकेट चैनल जिसका नाम है और यू हीयर फॉर द क्रिकेट एंड एंड देन ऑन दैट आई वॉज टॉक बट हाउ I feel that the rise of Surya Kumar Yadav is is attributed to several things. Uh, one, the fact that you know he got that break at what twenty nine, thirty in the Indian team, and I get, I think a domestic uh, cricketer ke taur pe when you go through so much, you see the grind, you see the highs, you see the lows. Um, he reminds me of someone like a Michael Hussey who was thirty, thirty odd when he finally got that chance to play Test cricket for Australia. Uh, I've just got another message from Anand. Um, okay, he says he can hear me, he cannot see me. um not sure what to do if you can anand if you can hear me can you this there should be a um a button that says request to join if you can click that bhai i will get you on the show I, you said you can hear me you cannot see me uh, perhaps the technical glitch uh, can 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 other viewers see me i have not got too many comments coming in today i want to know if if you all can see me here um i'm crystal clear visible to myself um if there's anyone around please drop a comment so i can hear um otherwise i've had the tech team going to reach out to anand anand if you see that request to join button can you please go ahead and just click that and i'll get you on the show tab tak i'm going to keep the discussion going cuz surya kumar yadav dosto we saw there was a bit of i'll say maybe some feedback or some criticism uh, surrounding him when his asia cup did not go as well as we all would have liked he got that fast 60 odd against hong kong and another 38 odd it was not necessarily you know a poor a poor asia cup but um hi we got rajveer singh is saying hi how are you i'm just going to call someone at the team one second here don't go away guys just going to get someone what's happening ah rajveer singh i'm very very fine shubhu singh saying hi how, how are you jamie i'm very fine how are you guys how how did you like yesterday's match yahan pe likh likh dijiye apne lock screen pe ki aapko match ka manoranjan pura mila kya match tha matlab high scoring matches are often fun but the fact that we had a, a floodlight failure we had rohit sharma getting slightly injured we had some haze we had two snakes join the show as well um join the match i'm sorry it was it it was a uh, quite quite an entertaining match and i just go back to the fact that i said earlier कि जो टेम्बा बबूमा ने सात गेंदें खेली और जीरो रन बनाए दीपक चहार का मेड एन ओवर खेला हैड दैट नॉट हैपन पर हैप साउथ अफ्रीका वुड वन दैट मैच बिकॉज द काइंड ऑफ फॉर्म द डेविन मिलर वाज इन गेंग दैट सेंचुरी एट अ स्ट्राइकर ऑफ व्हाट 225 हंड्रेड यू कैन अस्यूम कि हैड ही गॉट सिक्स बॉल्स एट द बैक एंड ऑफ द इनिंग्स द सेम सिक्स बॉल्स दैट बबूमा फेस्ड आउट विदाउट स्कोरिंग अ रन फ्रॉम चार ही वुड अ प्रॉब्ली ऑन एनी डे गॉट दो सिक्सटीन रन सो शुभ सिंह कह रहे हैं स्काई ने कल कमाल की बैटिंग किया बिल्कुल बिल्कुल कमाल की बैटिंग ये पूरे साल दोस्तों लगभग सूर्य कुमार यादव कमाल की बैटिंग कर रहे हैं अगर आप नहीं जानते ही इज द लीडिंग रन गेटर इन टी ट्वेंटी आईज दिस ईयर क्लोजिंग इन ऑन एट हंड्रेड रन द एवरेज इज फोर्टी ऑर एंड द स्ट्राइक रेट इज समवेयर अराउंड दैट वन हंड्रेड एंड एटी फाइव मॉर्क रिमार्केबल फॉर अ मैन हु थर्टी ऑर यू नो जस्ट कंप्लीटिंग अबाउट अ ईयर एंड हाफ lagbag at this level of cricket and to do it so consistently you know he's he's got runs in pretty much every country he's played in is saal ki baat kare 2022 ki to surya kumar yadav got runs in in england he got 100 there he got some runs in the west indies you know he's got runs at home against sri lanka against everyone who's come so he's just doing it consistently and i'm very glad ki finally team management ne unhe number 4 pe khelne ka mauka diya Because he said openly, "Okay, I will bat anywhere that I get a chance to bat." And I think that's more as as Gautam Gambhir said, "He unki majburi hai ki unko jahan bhi mauka milta hai, ye khelne ko taiy taiyar hai." But I think number four is the best fit for him right now because Virat Kohli finally has got some form back here. Excuse me while I have a sip of my coffee. G G G. बुरा बच्चन जी कह रहे हैं हाँ नंबर फोर बेस्ट है शुभु सिंह कह रहे हैं सही बात है रिकॉर्ड बनाते जा रहे हैं बिल्कुल फास्टेस्ट टू वन थाउजेंड रन सूर्य कुमार यादव यू नो एंड ही नंबर टू आई थिंक वेरी वेरी सुन जिस तरह से वो बैटिंग कर रहे हैं दुआ करेंगे कि ऐसी फॉर्म उनकी चलती रहे और वो बहुत ही जल्द मोहम्मद रिजवान को मोहम्मद रिजवान को डिसप्लेस कर सकते हैं पर आई जिस Again, going back to it before Anand joins, माफ करिए there's some small technical glitch. He cannot join. You can hear me. Uh, our tech team is looking into it with Anand to get him on the show as soon as possible. Um, the consistency factor of someone like a Surya Kumar Yadav, 
That is what I think should not be surprising, but it should be applauded. This is a player Jinka Nam Dosto, domestic cricket Kesat Sar. Actually, Unka Nam Bana, Mumbai Indians may who punch title to Mumbai Indian GT, Us Mumbai Indians Kesat, Jo Surya Kumar Yadav ne who calm Kiata. Now, Aku Batadu, Ki Mumbai cricket may kafi sal se, ye a cheap production dete ahe, unane Mumbai ko captain. Uh, उनकी कप्तानी भी की कुछ समय तक लेकिन जब वो केकेआर में थे और वो दो साल 2012-14 उस समय जब गौतम कंबीर की केकेआर टीम ने टाइटल जीते तो उस बीच ऐसा लगा मुझे और बहुत सारे लोगों को कि शायद टीम मैनेजमेंट को आइडिया नहीं है कि कहाँ ये युवा बल्लेबाज बेस्ट फिट होते हैं टीम में और हाल ही में गौतम कमजोर बात रही मेरी कैप्टेंसी की या एक अफसोस की बात है I regret not getting the best out of Surya Kumar Yadav and it's very telling that it came from a man as sharp and as competitive as Gautam Gambhir क्योंकि जैसे कि आपने देखा था कि क्या में उनके काफी अच्छे स्कोर्स बने बड़े स्कोर्स नहीं पर जब भी वो आते थे छह सात पे तो सूर्य कुमार यादव बहुत तेजी से रन बनाते थे और ये मैं बात कर रहा हूँ 14, 15, 16 के आसपास लेकिन फिर जब वो मुंबई इंडियन शिफ्ट हुए और उनको थोड़ा तीन पे खेलने का मौका दिया, चार पे खेलने का मौका दिया, then we saw the Surya Kumar Yadav जो आज इंडियन टीम में है, he got success in the IPL as happens, then you get picked more for India A and finally कई बार लगा था कि सूर्य बहुत बहुत करीब है दोस्तों इंडिया कॉल अप पे बहुत सारे व्यूअर्स कह रहे हैं हां बिल्कुल सही है हार्ट्स आ रहे हैं हेलो आ रहे हैं एब्सोल्युटली आ रहे हैं थैंक यू गाइस सेंड द लव टुवर्ड्स अस एंड सेंड द लव टुवर्ड्स सूर्य कुमार यादव तो बात ये है दोस्तों कि सूर्य कुमार यादव जिस उम्र में जिस तजुर्बा जिस अनुभव के साथ इंडियन टीम में आए तब तक उनका गेम दोस्तों ऑलमोस्ट पीक पोटेंशियल तक पहुंची थी और फिर जैसे कि हम देख चुके हैं बहुत सारे प्लेयर्स के साथ इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट खेल के चस्का जो लगा उनको ड्रेसिंग रूम में रह के बड़े-बड़े दिग्गज प्लेयर्स के साथ विनिंग एनवायरमेंट इस सब के साथ सूर्य कुमार यादव के अंदर कहीं वो बात आई कि हां आई बिलोंग हियर और अब मैं रन्स बनाऊंगा एंड आई एम नॉट सरप्राइज कि आज अगर हम बैट्समैन के बारे में बात करें ये शायद टीम की टीम लिस्ट पे पहला नाम होंगे अभिनव रैना कह रहे हैं बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हैं आप थैंक यू गाइस एनी क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम मी एनी क्वेश्चंस फॉर आनंद हु विल बी ऑन द शो वेरी 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 सून एनीथिंग यू वांट टू कमेंट अबाउट सूर्य कुमार यादव तो आप प्लीज यहां पे डाल सकते हैं तब तक मैं कुछ तस्वीरें लगाता हूं हमारे सूर्य कुमार यादव की ये देखिए सूर्य कुमार यादव यहां पे खड़े-खड़े शॉट मार रहे हैं और लिख के लीजिए मेरे से ये शॉट जो है ये कवर के ऊपर जा रहा है बाउंड्री के लिए और जहां तक सूर्य कुमार यादव की बात है दोस्तों आप सब इस बात से सहमत होंगे कि शुभु सिंह 19 ओवर के बारे में क्या कहना चाहोगे बहुत रन आए भाई बहुत रन आए ब्रीफली आई टेक अ साइड स्टेप फ्रॉम फ्रॉम टॉकिंग अबाउट सूर्य कुमार यादव आई थिंक हर्षल पटेल जब से ये वापस आए तो एक ना एक मैच में एक ना एक ओवर जो है वो लूज रहता है कल अर्शदीप काफी लूज थे अर्शदीप की बॉलिंग को लेके मैं इतना इतना कंसर्न um, नहीं हूं क्योंकि वो इंडिया के सबसे बेहतरीन सबसे इकोनॉमिकल और सबसे सफल डेथ ओवर्स बोलर रह चुके इस साल तो ये होगा ए, एक आध बार कि उनकी परफॉर्मेंस थोड़ी डिप हो जाए आई थिंक मोर वरिंग अबाउट हिम इज द फैक्ट दैट ही इज बोलिंग नो बॉल्स आई थिंक फोर नो बॉल्स दिस सीरीज दैट्स अ कंसर्न बट देखो कल कल की बात करें 19 ओवर 20 ओवर रन तो बहुत आए लेकिन हम ये पूरे साल से देखते आए कि जब बुमराह नहीं है जब हर्षल नहीं है तो डेथ ओवर्स प्रॉब्लमेटिक रह चुकी है बोरिंग अर्शदीप सिंह तो कल भूल जाइए कल उन्होंने शायद 60 62 रन दिए कोई नहीं होगा आई जस्ट होप ऑल द बॉलर्स गेट फिट बिफोर द टी20 वर्ल्ड कप शुभु सिंह कह रहे हैं शमी की वापसी होनी चाहिए देखिए शुभु सिंह जी और बाकी व्यूअर्स मोहम्मद शमी को लेकर अगर आप मेरे शो से जुड़े हैं या मेरे कॉलम्स आप पढ़ चुके हैं या आप मेरे YouTube चैनल से से वाकिफ हैं तो आप जानते हैं कि मैं कह चुका हूं कि मेरे हिसाब से इस नाचीज के हिसाब से मोहम्मद शमी एक नेचुरल टी20 बॉलर नहीं है वो नेचुरल फिट नहीं है जी हां आईपीएल में काफी सफल रह चुके हैं वो कहीं सीजन से लेकिन अगर आप उनके अंतरराष्ट्रीय मैचेस उनके अंतरराष्ट्रीय रिकॉर्ड रिकॉर्ड पे गौर करोगे तो कुछ 60 62 शायद मेरे हिसाब से टेस्ट मैच खेले हैं 85 के आसपास शायद वनडे खेले केवल 9 साल के अंतरराष्ट्रीय करियर में मोहम्मद शमी केवल 19 टी20 मैचेस खेल चुके हैं देश के लिए जिन में दोस्तों उनका इकॉनमी 9.54 है और अगर आप डेथ ओवर्स के बारे में बात करेंगे वहां वो जाता है 11 के आसपास और हर आईपीएल सीजन में 
मोहम्मद शामी और स्टैट्स दोस्तों दर्शाता है कि हर साल वो डेथ ओवर्स में थोड़े कम कम बोलिंग करते हैं इस साल जो वो खेले आई में तो उनकी टीम ने उन्हें बहुत कम ओवर्स दिए डेथ में शायद 18-24 ही गेंदें उन्होंने डाली डेथ में तो मोहम्मद शमी का हम कह सकते हैं वो शुरुआती में काफ़ी अच्छे हैं पावर प्ले में अच्छे हैं लेकिन वो एक डेथ बॉलर नहीं है इसीलिए शायद मेरे हिसाब से वो फिट नहीं है टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप के लिए लेकिन 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 मगर ये कहने के बावजूद मैं मानता हूं कि उनके पास अनुभव बहुत है तजुर्बा बहुत है एक्सपीरियंस बहुत है और ऑस्ट्रेलियन की कंडीशन जो है वो उनकी बॉलिंग को सूट करती है लेकिन जिस बंदे ने 11 महीने से देश के लिए कोई भी टी ट्वेंटी मैच नहीं खेला क्या उन्हें वर्ल्ड कप खेलना चाहिए दोस्तों मुझे डाउट है आई थिंक इसी कारण शायद मोहम्मद सिराज भी एक नेचुरल फिट नहीं है मगर जसप्रीत बुमराह को लेके बहुत बहुत डाउट्स है कि वो टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप जाएंगे और समय आ चुका है दोस्तों क्योंकि कल का टी ट्वेंटी मैच जो इंदौर में खेला जाएगा ये दोस्तों भारतीय टीम का आखिरी है टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप से पहले एक दो प्रैक्टिस मैच होंगे ऑस्ट्रेलिया में लेकिन दोस्तों कल का मैच आखिरी है इंडियन टीम के लिए मोहम्मद शामी अभी कोविड से वापस नहीं आए स्क्वाड में नहीं है टीम के साथ नहीं है उन्होंने कल एक बहुत प्यारा एक इंस्टाग्राम वीडियो डाला कि मैं कब रिकवर हूँ तो जब मोहम्मद शामी नहीं है जब बुमराह मोस्ट लाइकली वर्ल्ड कप नहीं जाएंगे तो टीम को सेलेक्टर्स को रोहित को द्रविड़ को ये आइडेंटिफाई करना पड़ेगा कि जसप्रीत बुमराह के रिप्लेसमेंट कौन है और मोहम्मद शामी जो रिजर्व थे उनके रिप्लेसमेंट कौन है सिराज स्क्वाड में है खबर है कि उमरान मलिक भी जाएंगे ऑस्ट्रेलिया बट क्या आप दीपक चाहर को लॉक कर रहे हो 11 में भुवनेश्वर के साथ क्योंकि भुवनेश्वर वापस आएंगे क्या आप हर्षल को लॉक करेंगे कौन है आपके टॉप थ्री फास्ट बॉलर्स जब इंडिया बनाम पाकिस्तान मैच रहेगा तेईस अक्टूबर को टी वर्ल्ड कप में संडे के दिन ऐतिहासिक ग्राउंड मेलबर्न क्रिकेट ग्राउंड के अंदर कौन है आपके बॉलर दिस इज माई मेन पॉइंट रिगार्डिंग द बोल्स बट कमिंग बैक टू सूर्य कुमार यादव दोस्तों नंबर टू रैंक प्लेयर और इस साल जब भी इंडिया ने 190 200 पार किए हैं तो ज्यादा से ज्यादा मैचेस में इस खिलाड़ी इस बंदे का इंपैक्ट रह चुका है इसलिए दोस्तों मेरा मानना है और प्लीज आप लोग लिखिए बताइए वेयर डू यू सी सूर्य कुमार यादव बींग इन दिस टीम इज ही द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट प्लेयर राजवीर सिंह सिंह करेक्ट आई एग्री विथ यू थैंक यू राजवीर सिंह सुनील इज अ न्यू फॉलोअर वेलकम सुनील टू दिस चैनल टू दिस शो इसका नाम है द ऑल्टरनेट व्यू मैं हूं आपका साथी जेमी ऑल्टर तो वेयर डू यू माई फ्रेंड्स वेयर डू यू सी सूर्य कुमार यादव डू यू थिंक परहैप्स रोहित शर्मा इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट बींग ओपनर बींग द कैप्टन डू यू थिंक के एल राहुल हुज फाइनली गॉट सम फॉर्म बैक डू यू थिंक ही इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट और डू यू थिंक विराट कोहली हु ये क्रॉस इलेवन थाउजेंड रन इन टी ट्वेंटी डू यू थिंक ही इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बैट्समैन डू थिंक इज हार्दिक पांड्या हु डू यू थिंक बिकॉज मेरे हिसाब से इट इज सूर्य कुमार यादव बिकॉज ऑफ इज फॉर्म हिज कंसिस्टेंसी हिज रेंज हम रेंज की बात करें दोस्तों तो आप ये फोटो देखिए आप इस फोटो को दोस्तों आप इस फोटो को कैसे डिस्क्राइब करोगे मतलब ये हमने नटराज शॉट के बारे में बहुत सुना कपिल देव एक पैर पे पिरवेट करके एक शॉट था ये शॉट क्या है मतलब ये लग रहा है ये कुछ कार्टून से आया है ना ही ही इज ऑन हिज राइट फुट द बैट इज गोइंग टूवर्ड्स यू नो पॉइंट एरिया ये जो एक पैर है ये बिल्कुल स्क्वेयर लेग जा रहा है और इस शॉट के जरिए उन्हें चार रन मिले अक्सर हमने देखा है कि आजकल जिस फॉर्म में है जिस कॉन्फिडेंस में स्काई है वो आके पहली बॉल पे ये करते हैं दोस्तों और बॉल जाती है डीप फाइन लेग से ऊपर छह के लिए राइट इट्स बिकम हिस्स ट्रेड मार्क शॉट बीच में देखा आपने वेस्ट इंडीज में कि कैसे वो अपने बैक को आर्च करके एक रैम शॉट मारते हैं कमाल की शॉट बट भाई साहब दोस्तों इस फोटो में क्या हो रहा है राजवीर सिंह कह रहे हैं स्पाइडरमैन बन गया <laughs> बुरा बच्चन कह रहे हैं वेरी गुड आई लाइक आई लाइक राजवीर सिंह What you talked about Spider-Man? क्योंकि दोस्तों जितना भी मैं क्रिकेट देख के आ रहा हूं पच्चीस अट्ठाईस साल से मैंने कभी इस किस्म का शॉट नहीं देखा कि बैट्समैन इस शॉट इस अजीब सा पॉस्चर में रह के भी इतने कंट्रोल में है सूर्य कुमार यादव अपनी बल्लेबाजी पे अपनी पोजिशनिंग पे कि बॉल गया सीधा चार रन डीप पॉइंट थर्ड मैन के रीजन पे और ऐसी शॉट जब एक बैट्समैन खेल पाता है बुरा बच्चन कह रहे हैं ग्रेविटी के आगे निकल गया बिल्कुल देखिए लोग कहते हैं कि आसमान इज द लिमिट स्काई इज द लिमिट मैं कहता हूं कि स्काई इज लिमिटलेस मतलब सूर्य कुमार यादव इज लिमिटलेस व्हेन यू कैन वॉक आउट एंड मे बी टेन टाइम्स में से आठ बार आप शुरुआत के 
ये शॉट खेल सकते हो हर ग्राउंड में हर पेसर के सामने आप पहली बॉल स्पिनर को स्वीप कर सकते हो सिक्स के लिए और आप ये भी शॉट खेल सकते हो कमाल का दोस्तों तो द कंसिस्टेंसी द अग्रेशन द कॉन्फिडेंस द होल मैं हूं ना चिल्ड आउट एटीट्यूड के चलते जब आप ऐसे शॉट मार सकते हो भूरा बच्चन कह रहे इनक्रेडिबल बिल्कुल इट इज इनक्रेडिबल मजा आ गया बैटिंग देखे कहने शुभ सिंह तो जब आप ऐसे शॉट मार सकते हो यू हैव पुट सम काइंड ऑफ डाउट सम काइंड ऑफ कंफ्यूजन मे बी सम काइंड ऑफ फियर इन द बोलर्स माइंड एंड देन व्हेन यू कैन डू दिस वॉकिंग आउट एट नंबर फोर जब प्लेटफॉर्म सेट हो चुका है या जब अर्ली विकेट गिरे आप जब ये बिंदास क्रिकेट खेल सकते हो तो वाई वुडन यू बी द नंबर वन रैंक प्लेयर इन द वर्ल्ड इसलिए मैं कह रहा हूं कि बाबर आजम पे जो गैप क्लोज किया है looks like we've just got an yes anand is here fantastic my very very dear friend anand basu should be able to join us now better late than never i say anand basu saab can you hear me i've got the request let's see if we can join hello hi jamie good to finally be here good to see you man good to see you how are you doing first of all not bad not bad at all And you so i was i i'm going to i gave a brief introduction you probably heard it but viewers anand and i go back the better part of 17 years and when i say anand vasu one thing will always stick with me from a professional aspect that is the name crick info not espn crick info anand crick info because like i told our viewers when i was before i got in, into this line i used to read crick info like it was like my religion and the name anand vasu also always stuck out and i said it's not like you're some you know old 65 year old writer you're you're my age but you've been doing this for so long and with such detailing and such sincerity ki whenever i get a chance to you for me it's a complete honor anand so welcome to the show thank you thank you so much jamie for having me um anand yesterday's match uh, we'll get into school come out yadav the result um i was just saying to our viewers and most of them agreed it's good when when people agree with me as you know because not many do um that maiden over from chahar to babuma and the fact that babuma ate up seven balls for zero i'm guessing hypothetically had david miller got those six balls those 16 runs would have been fairly possible margin of, of defeat your take on that yeah this is a problem with uh, uh, you know playing slow innings in t20 cricket uh, you never know where it's going to cost you and these games are turning on one over uh, one wicket uh you know just a quick uh, spell so you can't i mean while no one can actually predict if they would have won had that made no one not been played uh they certainly gave them would have given themselves a much better chance and that which is why you know we are constantly talking about strike rates in t20 cricket uh you can't really afford to waste any balls you might need a ball or two to get your eye in not saying swing for the fences from the first ball but there are essentially 120 events that take place in a t20 game a uh, potential 120 events and the more dot balls you eat up the less chances you're giving yourself of putting up a big score or chasing down one absolutely and i think that's why when you look at someone like dickock who you know our viewers will know he's their most experienced player he's he's a former captain you know he's on he's playing this this match this series on reputation when he bats 20 overs for 69 runs you know and that pitch anand was almost like a road i mean you got 237 so as good as it it looks on a score card i mean you don't have to scratch very far to realize that he also should have really put his foot down because they only lost three wickets anand yeah i think uh, barring that uh, pitch in trivandrum uh, you don't generally get anything but batting beauties in t20 cricket most of the time you get excellent batting pitches and this one it's not like it slowed down in the second half it's not like it changed nothing happened so yes uh, you have to be very surprised by uh, the approach really more than anything else uh, indian india did bowl well you have to give them credit uh, where it's due but then in a t20 game if you end up losing by 16 runs and still have seven wickets in hand it's not a great look absolutely it's not a great look and uh, rajveer singh is saying awesome show thank you guys if you have any questions for the great anand vasu please do not hesitate i'm sure he'll stop talking to me and he'll turn his attention to the screen um i'm bringing up this guy here because i know a lot of us sort of sit on the fence when it comes to the multi talented um kl rahul 
Yes, a backstory. He was out for a long time. The Asia Cup was, I think, his first T20I game this series. Uh, sort of started to show signs there. Has got a few 50s now against South Africa and Australia. I thought he, yesterday was the best he's looked in a long time. But I know you and I have a certain stance on exactly I know what you were saying. You do not have more than three, four balls to get set in. Is he still somewhat of a problem at the top when he's stuck? Well, I would not say he's a problem, but I will say that he doesn't always play in the manner that he should and he can. I mean, the frustrating thing about watching KL Rahul when he sometimes struggles is that he's a batsman who has shots all around the ground. He has innovative shots. He has the classical shots. He's got every shot in the book, really. So it's, it's sometimes just very difficult to understand why he's getting stuck at times. If there was something to uh, uh, be critical of, it would possibly be that he sometimes doesn't run the first run hard enough. Like you'll see Virat Kohli, whether it's the end of a T20 innings, the end of a 50 over innings, or you know, end of a day of a test match even. Once he hits the ball, he takes the first run fast. So then there's a chance, you put, you put pressure on the fielder and there's a chance of converting into a, into a double. That kind of uh, aggressive intent uh, is not always obvious from KL Rahul in his running between the wickets. So as to why he gets stuck, it's got to be a mental thing rather than a technical or skill thing. Because there are days in which you know good bowling disappears off his bat. The best bowlers in the world are taken apart. And then there are other days in which, oddly, even mediocre bowling has him tied down. Uh, I mean, this is something that you expect someone like Rahul Dravid, the coach, to be able to help with. I know there's nothing that can be fixed instantly and as you pointed out, KL is coming back from uh, injury layoff. But I'm sure this is something they're working very hard on because the team looks at him as a very integral part of their yeah. setup. Um, while there has been criticism of his strike rate and uh, at times his intent, the team always says this is outside noise and this is uh, not something that they are worried about. Uh, and the very fact that they made him vice captain means that uh, you know he's not someone who's going to be uh, toyed around with. He's someone that they have invested seriously in and they're looking at him uh, at that uh, opening position. Which, Anand, which even makes it, to my mind, all the more surprising because you do get the, at least I get the feeling sometimes watching a bat that he's playing like someone, you know, like a Shrey Sire who perhaps knows that, you know, he's, this could be his last match. But it's not the case with Rahul for every single reason you just outlined. You've got the back. I mean, Rohit has virtually said that KL is going to play every match the World Cup. But despite having that backing, he just sometimes look looks stuck. And you probably hit the nail on the head when you said it's, it's, it's a bit of a mental thing. Because we know, I mean, the guy's an all-format player. Speaking of someone who right now, Anand, is, seems to be in a very, very good space mentally... Um, the man for all moments, Surya Kumar Yadav. First question for you is because I know how much you watch domestic cricket, IPL. Do you think that by the time he got that that chance, you know, he'd, he'd been close on many occasions. He'd been talked about, you know, by many, many people. Do you think when, he, when Surya Kumar finally got that chance at the age of, what, 29, 30, he, had, he was so confident from success across format that he knew, okay, now actually my time is Yes, I think uh, also to an extent, he was more mentally free, I think, by that stage. He was not necessarily uh, desperate to uh, play. I mean, he of course, he was very keen, but you know, that keenness can sometimes cross over into desperation, which can then play on your mind. But I think the fact that he's mentally so clear and so free is what is allowing him to do what he's doing now. And while you might say that, you know, he's a, he's a bit of a late bloomer, I don't think that's quite the question. I think the Indian team think tank, the selectors came to realizing his value late. I don't think he himself, uh, you know, uh, turned things around late as some cricketers have to in their career. Yeah. He, he was playing consistently well in domestic cricket for a number of years before becoming this player. But he was never this level of beast in, you know, other formats. Yeah, yeah. T20 now, if you notice, he's almost like a contrast to the uh, players who come before him. In that, from every innings, from the first ball, he's looking to score. And he's not looking to punch down to uh, long off for a safe single. He goes, he's going across and sweeping. He's playing ramps. He's playing over um, extra cover. He's literally, you know, taken over from A.B. De Villiers as that 360 degree player. I mean, how do you, how do you describe this shot, Anand? Can you? 
<laughs> this one here on our screen, you see one on the screen? The guys, I mean, we've heard of Nataraj. This is something else. This is like, wow. This is, this is, this is like a, I think like more like a flamingo trying to catch a fish that is swimming away very quickly. <laughs> good one, good one. This is like, it, you can't make out whether he's trying to slap the ball down, what he's trying to do. And that's the other thing with this, with this kind of shots, you know, the ball goes in unusual angles and to unusual places, yeah. which is why he also finds the gaps more often than some of his other teammates. Yeah. The field set are for conventional shots or not, not, maybe not conventional, but for T20 the shots you expect in T20 cricket, but you can't, uh, these shots you can't expect, you can't coach, uh, you just have to watch and enjoy unless you're the bowler. And exactly like you said, it's these kind of shots, Ananda, throw the bowler's best laid plans off, right? You can expect now, Acha, ye aake pehle ball pe kuch aisa karega. maybe I'll, I'll put a man there, you know, but when he does this, but for the range, for the confidence, for what he brings, is he the most important batsman in this current lineup? Do you think? You'd have to say so. I think uh, what he also does particularly well is he lines up the ball, he gets into position to play it, but he doesn't commit to a particular type of stroke. So he's able to change at the very last minute. You know, he's he's the same delivery. Sometimes he plays once over point and a similar line and length, he'll go back and hit over cover. So how do you set a field to that? He's also aware of where the fielders are. And he's reacting to that. So, you know, he's able to hit the same delivery, same line and length of a delivery to multiple parts of the ground, which is a real headache for any fielding captain. There's not much you can do to defend when a player who is in good touch, who has confidence, who's backed by the team, uh, has the skill and is fearlessly going after the ball. I mean, there's really not much you can do. There's not much. And I mean, just, you know, like I was telling our viewers before you came, it's coming up to just a year and a half for him in this format. He scaled the heights of, of number two. And I think man to man, he's he's more impactful than number one, uh, Mohammad Rizwan. And I'm sure that gap will be will be closed very soon if he bats this way. But just again, the fact that, you know, we've seen him score. I think he scored in every condition he's gone to. Um, some people are saying and tweeting, you know, that Australia is going to be a little different. I mean, you've been to Australia countless times, but the boundaries are bigger. But you see his sixes. They're not following, falling in the ropes. They're going eight, nine, ten rows back. So I'm not too concerned. And I think for all the reasons that we were discussing here, the confidence, the ability, the fact that he can adjust shots, I have him. I mean, I don't want to jinx him, but I have him in line for a very successful first tour of Australia. How do you see him doing there? See, Jimmy, if you're right in pointing out that the boundaries are bigger in Australia, but this also means there's more space to work with in the field for the batsman. Uh, there's different, there's more scope for him to pierce the field. Doesn't necessarily have to hit sixes, even if he hits fours, it's Correct, fine. correct. And he's the kind of player, you know, he's really spoiling us with his level of consistency. Mm -hmm. Because the ma manner in which he plays, this amount of risk he takes, the high scoring rate that he maintains, it should, it logically follows that you cannot be successful as consistently as he is. But somehow, for the moment, he's defying logic, literally. Um, in T20 cricket also, I think consistency is uh, a bit overrated. I mean, it's not something that you necessarily need to have. It's the impact innings that you play. If you fail in three innings and in the fourth innings, you single-handedly win the game for your team, I think that's a good enough player to have in a T20 side. Because you expect uh, your top four, top five to each be able to single-handedly win you a game on their day. I mean, single-handedly is perhaps, you know, overstating it, but making the, making the impact, there will always be support from other players. It's an 11, 11-person game. But if you can, one person can have that high impact innings. And every one of Surya Kumar Yadav's innings have been high impact innings. They have. You know, either he's, either he's getting out, <coughs> which means he's giving opportunities <coughs> For someone else to make use of the deliveries that are available or he's kind of killing the game in uh, with his own blade which is exactly the kind of player you need and exactly the kind of approach you need in t20 cricket absolutely and i was like i was going through his scores because i think i also fall into that recency bias fairly early in my old age but even when he's got the 19s and 25s and 28s Strike rate, Anand, is nothing less than 170. So, and that's exactly what you want in this format. Just to pick up what you said, you know, the India are so reliant on their top, 
on their top three and top four. Is number four the best place for him? Because we've seen the opening, we've seen the three, but given the, you know, the, the gravity of what, uh, I mean, the seriousness of what we can get on paper when our top three fire, um, I th I'm i okay with him wearing it for. I think we've passed that stage where we need to perhaps experiment with him at number three now, given that Virat Kohli's got some form now. Yes, I, um, well, you want a player like him to play as high up the order as is possible within your lineup. Sure. And in this batting lineup, if you have the captain, uh, the vice captain, and the former captain at one, two, and three, then uh, there's there's really no room for Surya to go any higher than that. But I think number four is perfectly fine as long as the number three realize what big a uh, weapon they have coming in after them. You don't want uh, you know any of the top three getting stuck. Correct. You want them to play fluently, knowing that there's Surya Kumar Yadav to come after. Correct. Anand, you must be aware, but just like literally a few minutes before the stream started, uh, reports came that uh, Kohli and Rahul have been rested for the final match and that they're flown to Bombay from where the team will leave. Something surprising or did you think that perhaps in the last match, they would want to give them one more inning? Or you think the team's like, no, koi nahi, hum log khush hai, inke form se. Let's, let's give them a bit of a breather before the World Cup. Yeah, I think, see, it's fair enough because uh, this, uh, whatever you wanted to see of them, you've seen of them through the Asia Cup, then the... Australia series and then now the first two games of this South Africa series. So uh, it's important for them to be mentally fresh as well. It's important also you don't want to, uh, you know, you never go into a game thinking that you shouldn't get in injured. But, you know, why take the chance? I, I think uh, both the players and uh, the team management will be quite happy with them having a rest before rest. heading out to the World Cup. Rest. One question before I let you go. This is what no one's quite sure what's happening with this man. Uh, he's in your he's in your city. Um, safe to say that even despite the best attempts of everyone involved, perhaps is not going to last the distance at the World Cup. Uh, who do you see if he is ruled out? Who do you see as his best replacement? Because a few names are being bandied about. So, um, well, Mohammad Siraj has the most uh, game time under him. Yep, Shami would have been a good replacement, but he hasn't played in a while. Uh, he hasn't played. Initially, because he wasn't picked, then after that, through COVID. So, uh, you'd be a bit uh, conscious about taking someone to Australia when he hasn't had uh, game time under his belt in the recent past. But I think it's also still far too early to rule Bumrah out. Uh, I think the team management will wait till as late as they possibly can. Um, simply because even if he doesn't play your first game or your second game, if he can come into uh, the 11 for the business end of the tournament, You'd still want him. He's that important Absolutely. bowler in this lineup. Absolutely. There you have it. That's Anand Vasu's take on Jaspeed Bumrah. No one is quite sure what's happening. Um, Anand, absolute pleasure. If you want to let our viewers know where they can read your stuff, I'm aware, but you have a website where you put all your articles together. Let them know. Well, I think the best place is off my Twitter handle. That's at Anand Vasu. If you go there, there's also a link to where all my previous articles appear. So you can do that or you can subscribe to my uh, newsletter, which is called Anand on Cricket. You'll find it on Substack. And I guarantee you all, you will not, you will, every single piece you read will give you something. Like I said, I've, I've had the privilege of working with Anand, uh, the privilege of covering multiple tournaments, a lot of cricket, domestic, international. We've had some great times, but even outside the cricket, we've had a lot of good times as friends. So Anand, always a pleasure to, to talk to you. Thank you once again for taking our time. Thank you so much, Jimmy, for having me. And thank you to all our viewers as well. Enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye.